I do want to talk about Lee Amekis, and that's why I'm wearing this beautiful jersey. Um, I do want to talk about the games real quick, and then we'll talk about Chivas, of course. So we have Monterrey versus Santos. Monterrey came on top, and I believe Monterrey is still the number one seed. San Luis versus America. San Luis made it impressive trying to come back. Uh, Tigres Toluca. Tigres came on top, and Toluca, I know they try to make a good comeback. Then we had Chivas Atlas. Um, the only game that uh, basically they that tied. Everyone else had a clear winner. Chivas tied with Atlas 1-1. In the aggregate, and that's why Chivas, Chivas advances because they were high position in the table. Um, so not like a clear win, but a win in, in in one game, and they lost the other game, which was they were away. So real quick, you know, I'm a big Chivas fan, been my whole life. Um, it was very frustrating to watch the game the first 45 minutes of that. Yeah, it was just terrible. Not terrible. It was frustrating because you know Atlas was sitting back. Just not necessarily chilling, but playing counterattack just the whole game, like almost like Atletico. Um, I like to think of them like a- Atletico of uh, of the Mexican League. So they have two really good strikers, like two really good strikers. This guy named Quinones and this guy called Fucci. Really, really good. And whenever and they're tall, so you know they're beating all these little Mexicans in the air. Like there's just no doubt. You know when they go for those long balls, like they're just gonna always there first. So you know very. Chivas, like, just not being as aggressive or at least as aggressive as I want them to be. And Atlas is just chilling, playing good counters, and they still had really good opportunities. But then, uh, and in my head, I was like, bro, like, Chivas needs to just start crossing or sending long balls and, like, these dangerous areas just to show Atlas something different and to get at least Atlas to step out of their de- defensive, like, spot. Like, get these players to shift a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Like, have them react a different way. And then the second half comes, and they start kind of, like, doing that. And I remember um, there was two plays. They moved the ball from the left to the right of the field and then brought it back to the left pretty quick. And Alexis Vega had a pretty good shot, which was nice. Shitty shot, but it was good. I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere here. And, you know, Atlas has vulnerabilities. Like, they're breakable. We can get through them. We can score. So then I think a few minutes later to go by, they play a long ball, you know, towards Alexis, Alexis Vega again, same thing. And they get a corner, they get the corner and score, which was like, like in my head, I'm like, that's how I needed to be done. Like, you know, you kind of just had a overload that basically just Atlas's defense and, and kind of just have a goal go in. And then, you know, Atlas, I mean, Chivas played like Chivas. They played them. I mean, they touched, they moved the ball really well. I just hate when it's time to score a goal, you know, but they played really good. So I'm really excited to see how they do against America um, and Atlas is um, they're a solid team. They know they know how to play. They might not have the best players, but they know how to play as a team. And that's a, that's just hard to beat. So um, we have Tigres against Monterrey on Wednesday and then we have Chivas America Atlas. So you got two Clásicos. Um, you have the Clásico Regio, I think is what it's called, in Monterrey, which is basically Monterrey versus Tigres. And then you have Clásico Nacional, which was basically the Clásico of Mexico, which is Chivas versus America. And earlier this season, we got shitted on by America. We were losing 4-0 by halftime, and I think made it 4-2 by the end of the game. So we're going to try and redeem ourselves and get the dub, hopefully. Predictions real quick on that. I think, honestly... I'd rather see Monterrey in the final if Chivas advances, right? Because we beat we played Tigres in the last final and we barely beat them. And I don't want them to want to get revenge on us because they're really good. Um, and I also don't think Tigres is good enough to beat Monterrey. So I think Monterrey comes on top. Uh, they just might struggle a little bit when they play at the Tigres Stadium. So... Monterrey should come up top, though. Chivas America. If Chivas played the way they did the last, like, after they scored until, like, the 85th minute, I think they shouldn't have any issues beating America. But America is a really good team, so we'll see uh, how Chivas does if they don't fold or choke or bottle the bottle it. Um, they'll be fine. 